Alright, welcome back to part 2 of the Battle of Guandu. Now we need to go and check out the other supply depots in this area as I ride this acquired round horse. We will be able to get our own horses later on. You can probably see uh, the one that Wu Bu and Guan Yu use, Red Hair. You can unlock that and you can also unlock Wu Bei's unique horse as well, a bit later on. So once again here, we're going to take out the gate. Oh, there's another officer here. Oh no, it's going to be the same situation as last time. An officer and everyone else pounding us to death. I'm going to try and get a combo on this guy. Yeah, smack him up. Ow, they can be merciless with those attacks, man. Merciless. Ow, well, I thought he finished. Where have got my next opening? See, yeah, it's not that dumb in this game. It can be a... Well, I didn't know that. I did not know the gate captains could restore their health. That's something I've worked just now. I didn't know they could do that. I knew enemy officers could. I didn't know gate captains could pull the same trick. Well, nevertheless, didn't help him. Gonna womp through his troops. Yeah, officers down. Excellent work. Always want to clear gate captains as much as you can. Don't slack. Right. Alright then, let's see what's behind door number two. And in door number two, we have. Success! Mm, so this is where it is. Send a message to our Lord. Yes! Oh, we found it on a second time of asking. We found the Wu Shao Supply Depot. Critical moment in the battle now. Oh, thanks, Guan Yu. Much appreciated. All units attack the enemy depot. Here we go. One Shao's supply depot has been exposed. It's time to crush him. He'll be pissed. No wines for you. Whatever they drink. Sake, maybe. Oh no. Maybe they do drink wine. Uh, now, now you've done this, you've got to go find this guy, Chu Yikong. Now, in the war, from what I can remember, this guy kind of goofed up in the actual Battle of Guandu. He was apparently caught drunk on duty. As you can see, he was very... Oh, hold on a second. Oh, compound is under attack! Oh, no. What? Oh, it can't be! And it is! One shot. This battle is mine. That's an awesome pose. He will be in the castle. I'm not doing anything right now. Who cares? He's so. Anyway, that guy right there was apparently in the actual battle. He was. Uh, right. Now we will counterattack. Stop the enemy's surge. So anyway, that Chun Wei Kong guy, he was apparently drunk as a feather. Drunk as a mule when the real battle happened and apparently they found him pissed and they just killed him. It was like, oh, you let us have this depot, you drunkard. And they sort of represented that in the uh, game because he was actually a really easy officer to kill. He had a lot less health and not just because I had a better weapon. Like, you'd seen the other officer as I was fighting. He was about maybe half as strong as one of them in HP terms. And that represents the fact that he was pretty much drunk on duty. So, a bit of a nice touch there by Kawhi. So, out, now that we've taken down the depot, one shout's pretty much buggered. He's, he's not going to get as many reinforcements. He's on the run, and Cow Cow's army is zerging out of the capsule. So what we're going to do here to make it a little easier, because one shell is like Dong Zhou, can be a little tricky to handle by yourself, he's fairly powerful. We may not have seen any of him last time, but we certainly will this time. Or we're going to end his life! The pathetic brander that he is. Whack! And who knows, maybe we'll get this done in two recordings, we might be that quick. So on a roll. So, gate captain's out the way. Oh, I was going to leave you alone, but now I'm going to have to beat you up. No one knocks me off my horse. Right, leave me alone. Yes, silly. Mop 
outfits. Should be running away. Taking care of you, chief. But I guess some people just can't wait to die. Happy to oblige. There's no real point to doing any of these, but, you know, there'll be officers, defense bonuses. We want to get as much power as possible for the later missions where things will be really tough. I hope we won't have to do any uh, off-screen grinding of health and stuff. I'll try not to do that. As you can see, the thing's already open. I think they all open up once you defeat the main depot, because there's no point to them anymore. As in this, I mean, that's the cool thing about this mission, is you got to search for the, de the depot. It could be this one another turn. It's not always the same location, so... Just do them in a circular order, start from like where I started, and then just carry on, or do whatever method you want. This is the way I do it, to start from the bottom, so I do it in a nice round order and get all, as many bonuses as possible. You know, all the defense plus ones from the gate captains, all the officers that may linger around, defending dead territory. Sometimes it's this one, sometimes it's the one nearest to one shown. You have to go through quite a few forces. Let me see some... Oh, they'll be fighting for a while. They. We're not cut a purpose, but whatever. Look at our morale. We're way on top of the world. How much does one shoe have left anyway? Sorry, one shell. He's down to two officers. Hmm. I've just noticed that uh, he has another distinguished officer on his ranks. I wonder if you spot the name. Don't worry, we'll see him soon enough. Hopefully. <coughs> It was kind of miffed last time, we didn't actually fight Zhang Liao. That would have been nice to have said about how he originally was on Wu Bu's team and then he joined ours. But we won't miss Zhang He, who is the sub-officer in question. Started out with one Xiao and as you can probably guess he joins us. Because we are the mighty way and we are far better than a guy who wears all yellow. Blue is best. Ask any football fan in the Premier League. Yeah. I don't think there's an officer in there, so we're just going to ignore this one completely. He's got a couple of archers. The archer towers can be annoying, but as I said, just leave it to the AI. The morale's high, they'll clear it out in a couple of seconds. Once they get away from you. As you'll probably see if you watch that earlier, which you probably won't. <laughs> there's Zhu Huang, he uses an axe, he's unlockable. So is Sang Liao, he's also unlockable as a Wei officer, not as a Wu Bu officer. And speaking of the devil. There is nothing my claws cannot tear. Ah, the mighty and flamboyant we camp Zhang Yi. I kid you not, he is extremely flamboyant. Yes, yes indeed. He looks like Vega from Street Fighter, talks like Vega from Street Fighter 2, probably. It's very vain individual. Look at this combo! I've got a nice combo on his head. If you, if, you, if you time it just right, you can actually knock them off the... Oh dear, oh dear, oh no, 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 no. Not when you're this close to getting defeated, mate. Oh, we need to be... No, 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 come on. Oh, you... Son of a... Oh, great, I need to start with Not to... Um, I'm getting out of here. No, 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 get off, get off. No, no, no. No, nope, that was a terrible idea. There is no need for strategy here. All units, charge! We are getting desperate! Charge! Okay, okay. Maybe not the brightest idea in the playbook there. I will admit. Okay, we'll leave him for now. Instead, what we will do is we will take out his gates. Ah, uh, you can get lost, pal. Get out of here! Go bother someone else, you pest. This kingdom is mine. Kneel before me. He's once again the Supreme Commander, but not our friend anymore. We don't want to fight him right now, so just straight forward to avoid the Archer Towers. We do not want to be fighting one shout in a moment. Good, went away. We want to take out his gates so that his reinforcements will be cut off. We've got looking quite a few times in this uh, playthrough so far. Two times now, the wrong, the wrong series of combos would have been dead. Lucky for us, that's not the case. And we get to use Super Muzzle Burning... Something or other attack. 
Sir anime. Ah, look at this. They're getting real, really stingy. We are like, nipping in there for a sneak attack wherever they can. The yeah, is getting tougher. So I'm, I'm getting tougher too, so they better watch out. Punks. So as I said, this is where you can really exploit the super moves. If you just play defensively and don't get surrounded too much, you can sort of... Privates aren't knocking me back anymore because I'm a bit stronger. And you want to kill all of them because they'll spawn these bonuses and now we're back to normal. Kill this guy. Right, one gate down. All of his forces depleted. Just need to knock out the other gates over here and I think we're going to get this done within about... 30 minutes, 30, 35 minutes, pretty good. Only have to do two uploads this time, that'd be nice. Takes about two hours to upload a 20 minute part for YouTube, and it would be kind of nice to not have to do, wait so long to get this part out. So, let's take this guy into the air. Of course, playing the game is fun. See, <laughs> having your computer completely not being able to use the internet for two hours at a time where you upload, not so much fun. But, Unnecessary evil to get this onto YouTube, of course. Maybe in the future they'll develop a way to upload a video in like two seconds. Uh, probably not, we'll have to wait a while for that. Anyway, oh, one ton has been defeated. And now, now that there's not going to be as much backup, let's try and get sang -Hee. Hmm, one child's over there, but I want the camp one. Oh, has he been defeated already? Uh, oh dear, one shower is heading straight for me. Um, I assume he's been defeated. Oh, not again. I wanted to take his head. That's what I get for being tactical instead of foolhardy. Ah, excellent. Bring it on, you. One shower. I'll use my ten seconds to smack you around like a... As you can see, he's taking a lot of hits, so you need to be careful, because he's pretty tricky. There's a lot of HP and defense at this stage. You do not. So you might want to use your allies to kind of act as a distraction, but he's going straight for us here. He's not messing around. So yeah, this is good. Isolate his guards. Clear them out. They are aggressive. As aggressive as he is, actually. So we need to really sort of... Again, like with every other guy, just kill the guards. This is going to be a bit more of a pain like this. Try not to get hit by one shell. Ooh, all recovery is now full. There he is using his Muzu attack. We were way out of the way, so we don't have to worry about it. Just clear his guards one by one. Oh, God, nothing is back there. And a lot of officers like this will be like this later on. They're gonna have a look at that, a dead rock between guards. Now there's something else I didn't know this game had. I didn't know that um I know officers could do that, I didn't know guards could. Learning more <laughs> learning lots of things about this game today. First of all, that uh gate captains can regenerate health, and secondly that uh the grunts can deadlock each other. There's another one! Oh my, this is awesome. Played this game for a long time. Get out another combo. Bam! Oh, I just missed, it. just missed the final part. There's actually an incentive to using combos like that, apart from it just being kind of flashy and cool. If you pull off a decent sized combo on an enemy grunt, you get more bonus. So, for so example, if you do like a, I think it's a 15 hit combo, as you can see, one shells all by himself now. He's going to get bonus seven ways to Sunday, and I'm going to provide the finishing blow. Trying to use his life, he's trying to get some life back there. He's even groaning a little bit. Same thing again, just whack him in the back. Be careful though, he might execute a super. It might sometimes be best to let him execute it. Don't be too hate. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And then go in. Oh, beautiful timing. Look at that. One family. Do it, you're dead. What a beautiful timing. Straight up the Super Muzu, 300th kill. And Cow Cow's forces are triumphant over the full moon. Take that one, shall.
Your dynasty is over. And now let's review the third mission. Went pretty quick, I think. Pretty much took out all the gate captain north of the castle. Took out Wen Shu. Eliminated the northern threat. Went down south. Eliminated the eastern threat. And then the castle was clear. Wu Bei disappeared. We took care of Han Meng. And Wan Shang, who probably would have been left alone, to be honest. For the most part, someone else took care of that guy up there. We took care of Wu Wei Kuang. Took out the supply depot. At which point we we're on the front foot. Everyone charging towards one shell's camp. Took out another gate over there. Took out another gate over there. Got beat around by Shangi a little bit. Decided to evade one shell, eliminate his gates, and head for the big guy himself. Who took a little while to take out the equation, but bam, 25 minutes. Wow. That was actually about 10 minutes quicker than I thought we'd be. I thought we'd be at least 30. That was pretty good. Good, good thing we're powered up. And, ooh, we're getting another great scrimmatar. Easy charge. Another useless bunch of... Hmm. I think I'll stick to the attack one, to be honest. Mount attack, reach, mini charge. Eh, yeah, that seems pretty good, I guess, so we'll probably never use that weapon again, so... You can see there, we got a 300 bonus, cleared it in decent time, and took out 8 opponents, so we get 4.5k. Let's see how that adds up to our character development. Not as many points this time. Ah, there we go, the bodyguard's got a bit more attack and defense. We ranked up to 8. And that's all for now, we still have two bodyguards, we've not met not as much progression this time, but we are... Didn't get the max ranking, didn't get anywhere close to KO ranking, but you can apparently get a lot of KOs on this map if you let it. Quit it in good enough time. So we'll just pop a quick save. Wow, that was a pretty simple mission. No real, <laughs> too close calls, but a pretty simple mission other than that. Next up, a new unwalkable mission, Guan Yu's escape. And no cutscene this time, straight into the battle. Well, that's for next time. And this one, that'll be the first short mission, it's 30 minutes long. So, that's all for now. Pretty simple, uh, <laughs> only two parts to this recording this time, which is good. And I hope you all enjoyed it, and as with the other two I've mentioned, please feel free to leave comments, criticism, praise, feedback, anything you want to see in the comments below. And thank you all for watching, and I will catch you all next time, when we will prevent, or will we aid in Guan Yu's escape from us. See you then.